God's got greater in store. Is there anybody in here that says, I know that God's got a better plan. I know that God's got better things for me. It is not where I am right now. Chapter 15 tells you that if they hated him, they gonna hate you too. So stop tripping over folk hating you. But understand that they just fulfilling the word. They just fulfilling the word of God. And I'm glad every now and then that I got a few haters that I can count on every time God begins to bless me. It's because I need my haters to validate the God that I serve. I need my haters to remind me every now and then that the God I serve, he's more than able to do what I need him to do. King Herod had an ulterior motive to kill Jesus. Then check this out. Be careful of everyone that wants to be with you on your assignment. Or the people who always got an encouraging word for you. Because not everybody is sharing in the God-given vision for your life. You've got some people that will tell you, I support you. I'm with you. Let God use you. But when God begins to use you in a manner that steps on their toes, ah, you ain't hearing from God then. Uh, you you coming against them. You, 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 you're not the friend that they thought you were. I'm sorry, I'm just talking about me for a second because I got some folk that told me they supported me. But when I saw walking in who God called me to be and stop sugarcoating everything and patting everybody on the back, then folk want to leave me. Folk want to turn their back on me. But baby, if you really supported me in the first place, you understand that a good friend going to tell you about yourself every now and then. A good friend going to stand up and tell you right from right and wrong from wrong. I thank God. Can I just be real? for a moment and yeah. Paul's parents that I got a friend in this room y'all I got one friend in this room that ain't afraid to tell me right from wrong ain't afraid to tell me when I'm making a mistake ain't afraid well. to tell me that I'm out of line I got a friend that says I don't care who you are I'm still gonna say what God wants me thank you man just praise the Lord but you know what okay check this out everybody Amen. is not going to support Amen. the God-given vision Amen. for your life. Some folk got ulterior motives. Yes, right. Even the people that y'all call friends. Your brother, your sister, whatever you want to call it, some of them got ulterior motives. Some folk just want to know your assignment so that they can kill the assignment that God has for you. Can I talk to somebody and tell somebody, you got to be careful always telling your assignment that God's trying to lead you on. You got to be careful. You know why? Because some folk, they only want to get close to you, Sister Cynthia, so they can know that how God's getting ready to use you so that they can plot on the other side so that they can kill, steal, and destroy what God himself is trying to use you here. You ever been around folk and tell them that God's got a call on your life for something and they tell you go ahead, do what God called you to do, but then in the next breath they want to know what God called you to do, how you going to do it, where you going to do it at, and then at the moment you get ready to do it, they ain't, do, they ain't there to do nothing but sabotage the very thing, oh no, God didn't really call you to do it. Oh, I can't do that because of where you come from. 